so the first thing that we are going to do is to create a shader a standard surface shader and let's name it blend text mm, then we will open up visual studio okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add two properties the first one is called main text tool which is another texture and the next thing that we need to add is something called blend text but first let's add main text to bracket and let's call this texture the blend texture and we give it a 2d texture equals blank because we don't have any texture yet and the next thing that we need to put in is underscore blending bracket and this will be our blend value and it is a float equals 0 0.5 we will manipulate this later so now when we go back to our inspector window we can now see that we have two textures there now let's go back to the code and fix the rest of it previously we have declared a few properties so now we need to declare a variable inside our code so that we can access that properties so copy and paste the line above and change it to main text too and then declare a float and name it underscore blending with the variables declared we can now access the properties above using our variables below so now we will put in the coding that will make everything work firstly we do a fix for and we call this source text equals text 2d let's just copy that that would be easier so this is our source text times 1 minus underscore blending next we put in a fix for target text equals text 2d underscore main text 2 comma in dot uv underscore main text because we are using the same uv as main text times underscore blending and another fix for and we call this blended text equals bracket source text plus target text times underscore color next we replace o dot albedo equals blended text dot rgb and now we are done so let's go back to unity and we can now create a new material and call it whatever you want now change the shader to our own custom blend text 
let's drag and drop the textures now let's create a box okay and let's make it bigger now we'll assign the new material there and you can see now that the two textures are blended nicely and we can change the blended texture using our value here and that is all have fun with your blended texture